Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I've just done my first ever ribbon pour um, with some really leftover paints. Um, it went really well, it was a bit crazy, um, but really, really happy with it. But I've still got some paints left. So I've just found this thing. Um, now this was, um, it was a, one of those weights at the bottom of a helium balloon. And I just, well, I got it ages ago and I just thought, wow, that's perfect for pouring over. So I'm gonna show you, I'll show you these paints. Um, they're just leftovers. So if this doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not wasting anything, but I'm gonna pour over this and just see what happens and just really um, try and enjoy paint pouring um, without the pressure of a commission or trying to achieve a certain look with the painting. Uh, so I'm really excited. So um, I'll show you what colors I've got. I can't tell you the names of any of these colours, unfortunately, because they are just leftover scraped paint off the worktops um, at the end of um, diff uh, the previous paintings. So they're just it's just a combination of lots of different paints. Um, so let me just show you. So these are the paints. So there's obviously gold there, which I know is Montmartre gold. I've just mixed that. There's a beautiful metallic-y blue. Um, it, this, this is like a black, but it's metallic. It's gorgeous. A sort of mauve. Actually, a few different shades of mauvey purpley colour. Um, I've got just a tiny bit of turquoise left, and then I mixed up some white, although there's not much there. Um, I'm going to use a 16 by 16 each canvas. So I'm just going to place that in the centre um, and have some fun. Right, I've put my star right down in the centre. Um, so I'm just going to alternate the colours. I'm just going to pour very gently just over the centre. Now, these paints are quite thick because I've not really ever done this technique before. I'm not quite sure what consistency I need. So I'm just gonna have to roll with this and see what happens. Right, I think that's plenty of paint on there. Um, the colours have kept their rings really nicely. Um, so now I'm just going to lift this off. Um, I'm just going to, I'm a bit nervous to do it, but just going to try and do it very slowly, very delicately. All that paint's getting sucked in underneath. There. Right. Now, what do I do now? Just get rid of that massive air bubble. Oh. Black underneath, that's interesting. <coughs> so I've got silicon in these paints just because it's leftover paint. So I guess I've got two choices. One is I could just torch it now, 
or I could stretch it out and then torch it. <coughs> um, I think I'm just going to add, oh no, maybe I won't. Let's give it a little torch. I'm going to do quite a gentle torch, I think, because I, I don't think I want lots of cells. I like that, Mama. Right, sorry about that. My battery just died. Um, so it's been a, probably about 20 minutes, and the paints have just spread out quite nicely, which is good. And then I've just surrounded the edge with um, one of the purples, just to give it something to flow against. So just before my battery went, I just got a stir stick. Um, and I'm going to pull the stick through the paint to create some um, patterns. So I think I'm going to go from the outside in and then stop in the centre. Just to see, get some nice patterns. I think where where the um, all the colours have met, I think I'm just going to go the opposite way and see what happens. Yeah, because that makes it look a little bit, it's all gone quite um, bobbly at the edges there. So that actually pulling it through, I think, just makes it look more defined. Now there's a lot of paint on here. I can feel how thick this is. So I'm going to have to do some sort of tilting out. Right, I'm liking where the lines come in, so I'm going to do more of those. And then it just gives a really pretty pattern in the centre. really exciting to do this type of painting this is the first sorts of paintings i ever saw on youtube and yet i've never done one so it's really just lovely to, and refreshing to actually try something totally different Right, that is looking really quite pretty. So I'm just trying to work out whether to do anything in the middle to do any sort of swirl or just to leave it like that. What do you think? I think that works quite nicely. Right, let's try some tilting out. Just going to get some gloves on. Right, now I this could totally wreck it. I don't know, but I can't leave it like this. There's too much paint on here. So I think to start with, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go from side to side and then just keep coming back to the centre. Down this way. You can see how quickly it's moving. That just shows how much paint is on this canvas. There's a lot. And then I think I've done... Actually, I'll just go over to all this edge again. Oh, 
and then back to the center and then I think I'm then just gonna have to go for it go for the, the corners and this is when the pattern will totally distort and change I'm going to go straight to the opposite corner because the paint's flowing nicely. Right, it's definitely lost that really pretty flower effect. Let's put it down and have a look. It's very psychedelic. <laughs> um, but I actually do still quite like it. Right, I'm going to give it a torch, which may well create some cells. And then just see, see what happens. I think I'm done tilting. So I think if I tilt more, then the lines are just going to get further apart. And then if I can just get a few cells, yep, got cells coming up. That will just add a little bit more interest to it, I think. Wow, this is changing it completely actually with the cells. Yeah, I just think another crazy painting. Crazy is good, nothing wrong with crazy. I do love my cells, so yeah. I'm sure you're shouting me saying stop stop torching no more cells but I I can't I love my cells really really like these cells now that has just transformed it so I was thinking before you've got these quite big blocks of color but now suddenly you have still got the big blocks of colour, but they're so much more interesting because they're all broken up with this pat lovely pattern. Right, I think that's it. I think I'm probably done. So I'll bring you in for a close-up. It's another crazy one. Right, so close-up time. Um, isn't it weird and wacky and psychedelic and bright and um it's just fun and I'm, i had fun doing it so um i think it's win-win really i'm happy with it um let me take you in for a close-up the cells are amazing um, what's really interesting here can you see there are cells within the same color so it, it's almost like you can see these sort of the silicon the oil just sitting on top um it's really pretty actually. You keep looking and you can just see more and more. And then there's some really bold white patches because there was no silicon in the white. Um, the white actually really stands out. Yeah, I think I think thinking about it, I think it's the white that probably makes this. Um, because you've got the cells, but then you've got the patches without the cells. Um, most of that turquoise was tilted off. There's a little bit down there. 
Um, and then there's a little bit up there, but then that was on one of the outer rings and I didn't have very much turquoise because as I said, this was just literally leftover paints. So um, I've had so much fun doing it. Um, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now totally dry. I really am not sure how I feel about it. I wish that I had spun the painting out on a cake, cake board or Lazy Susan instead of tilting it because then it would have kept that really perfect pattern. However, it's so abstract and all over the place. I think it does work. Now, it looks quite dull at the moment. So a lot of the paints, um, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but they've dried really matte. So you'll, you'll notice that the colours now just don't look quite as vibrant as when they were wet. But what I think will happen is when I varnish it, I think the colours will really come alive again. Um, if you look at this painting um, at, at a certain light, you can see that there is just um, a beautiful shimmer across the entire painting. It's quite subtle, um, but really pretty. So I think once this is varnished, that will really come out and actually it will just transform it again. Um, it's so interesting. There are so many cells and there are sort of cells of the same colour within the block of colour. It's, it's really unusual. As I said at the beginning, this was just with some paint leftovers. So uh, I'm just not sure why, why it's gone a bit matter and a bit duller, but I think with some varnish, this will look amazing. So I'm gonna wait for this to cure now. I'm gonna wait about four weeks um, and then seal it with some high gloss varnish. Um, and then I think it will look fab. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, of it. Um, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell um, and if you want to message me or contact me please just leave a message um, and I will always get back to you. Great, thank you.